Hey Vault Dwellers, welcome back to Fallout 4 with Sovereign. And today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys some more, you know, rare and, and legendary items. But the main purpose of this video is to show you what to do with those overdue books. As you can see, I've got 15 of them here. And the main reason I've even been collecting them as I've been going along is because I was curious as to why they would specify overdue book and not just book. So you'll see on the map there we went to the DB Technical High School. Once I arrived there, this is actually the first time I found it. This is the this is what I found the first time that I got here. And we've got raider psychos everywhere. Raiders. But then I also run into a legendary raider up on this roof. Whom I might have killed already. I'm not sure at this point. But then I also find another raider over in the trailer to my left. You can't really see it very well. But there's a trailer over there. There was also another legendary raider in that direction. So I did manage to, uh, to find two of them right outside the school. So here we are. This is after I've taken care of the other raiders. And uh, now we've only got the legendary left. So there's one hanging out up top there. All I do is stand back and just pelt them. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a bit of a cheese kill really. But hey, you know what? It works. Boom. So now he is gone, or she. But you cannot get up there. You have to go through the school first to actually get up there. And there is the next legendary raider hiding in the little bus. Really not difficult, again. Just throw some Molotovs, maybe a grenade if you need to. And then just rush them. A shotgun, I've found, is such a great weapon. Man, the shotguns are really, really good. And they do a lot of damage, and they're really, really reliable. And there goes the raider. So here we go, our first one. The Cunning Metal Right Arm. And this one's actually really cool. Plus one to agility and perception. And yeah, I am wearing that. I mean, that's excellent. That is really good bonus right there. I'm really happy with that one. So I try to take the rest of the stuff off of him. Check out the armor. Put it on. Oh yes, very good stuff. Now let's head inside the school. This is where the good stuff happens, and the school is a great place for looting. And it's a lot bigger than you think it's going to be. So shortly after getting inside, you're going to come into a room. It looks like it's a library, basically. But be careful, there might be a raider, in my case a legendary raider, sleeping here. So, since she was asleep, I just was able to pick her off pretty easy, even after she mutated. I was still able to take her out before she could stand all the way up. And now we have the fortifying metal right arm, which is plus one to strength and endurance. Again, another great find. Really excellent stat boost there. I'm really happy with that. And of course, you can modify these. This is the book return machine. This is where you take your overdue books. Now again, if there's something more special with the overdue books, I have not yet found it. But you can return any of the overdue books you have here. You'll get five tokens per overdue book. And then you can spend your tokens in this machine. There's nothing great in here. There's, yeah, teddy bear, toothbrush, another toothbrush, pencil, hairbrush, and a basketball that you can buy. I did buy everything in this machine with all my tokens. And I was hoping maybe something special would happen. Nothing special did happen. So it's possible there's other book return machines throughout the Commonwealth that maybe have better prizes in them. Or maybe you should use your tokens on something completely different. Who knows? But that is what you do with your overdue books. I decided to partake in a game of bowling while I was here as well. I kind of felt like I needed to take a break, you know, from the strifes of the wasteland. Enjoy a game of bowling. And there we go. I, I picked up the spare. Very happy. So now we're on the roof. We finally made it through the school. It is a large area and there are manned turrets. Or excuse me, unmanned turrets. Automatic turrets everywhere. So you want to watch yourself with those. Because they do hit kind of hard. We're getting far away from from uh, Sanctuary at this point. So, yeah. So we got the Acrobat's Leather Right Leg. So falling damage is reduced by 50%. Which is alright. I mean, I don't particularly fall a lot. But now we're underneath the school. Once you go into the basement and get further down into the school, you'll find this guy, Bosco. And Bosco is wearing something that I'm sure we'll all recognize from the Fallout 4 trailer, that teddy bear helmet, it's a uh, the mascot's mask. 
Now, I have not found if there is, like, the rest of the outfit anywhere, but nonetheless, it's a really cool find. So I took him out. I'm going to take out his little underling so I can actually get to him. There's one of those turrets. They're everywhere in here. And here we go. There is the mascot head. And this can be modded as well. Only a little bit, but it can be modded nonetheless. And, I mean, five, five damage resistance. That's actually not terrible. I mean, I've had helmets that were made out of, you know, hard materials that do less than that. So that's not too bad. So the school is a pretty great place to come and explore. There's tons of junk, tons of stuff to scavenge. There's ammo, there's guns, there's raiders everywhere. Locked containers, locked door. There's plenty of ways to get XP here. And we also have a fat man on the ground and an Unstoppables magazine. And again, that, that gains, you, gains you another 1% chance to ignore any damage from enemy attacks. And again, this stacks with other issues of the Unstoppable, so you can keep stacking that up. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Like it if you enjoyed, and hit that subscribe button before you leave. See ya!